All right, we're going to use Google SketchUp to bring in some Google Earth terrain and make some topo lines. So let's go ahead and get started. If you go to the File pull down, go to Geolocation, Add Location, that allows you to add an address here. And I've already done that. And once you get zoomed in on the area that you want to capture, you can go to Select Region up here on the right and adjust these pins to where you want to grab. So we'll grab that right there. So there's a grab. Just click on that and what that's going to do is bring that information into Google SketchUp. Now you can see that there's a flat piece in here right now. Um, that's because the Google Earth terrain is turned off. You can toggle those using this toggle right here clicking those t between those two or you can do it manually with the layers themselves. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to make sure that the 3D terrain is on. And then what I want to do is make an approximation of the building in a series of lines um, just so I know where that, that building is located. So I'm just going to go to my layers and make a new layer and I'm going to name this topo, or I'm going to name this outline. And I'm going to make it current. Then I'm going to go to the draw. And I just want to, so let's see, how about start right at this intersection of the L right there. And then what I want to do is make sure that my axis restrictions are on. You see where it says on green axis? And then when I drag this way, it's going to do red axis. Because that means that my line is staying on the same plane, so on green axis, on red axis, and not snapping, you know, to any other random point on that mesh. All right, so we've got that. Next thing we want to do is we want to get some topo lines from this thing. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to my top view, and... I'm going to zoom in a little bit too and it looks like some of my lines are not as close as I'd like them to be. So I'm going to pick that line and I'm going to go to move and I'm just going to move that in a little bit, right? And then I could also, you know, pick that line and move it. And notice I'm using the move off of the off of the model so I don't snap on any points. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make another new layer and I'm going to call it Topo. I'm going to make that current. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the outline layer for now. Then I'm going to go to Rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle that goes all the way around the entire site that I have. And then I'm going to go back to my 3D view, select that surface, and copy it by going to the Move holding down the control key, left clicking, dragging down on the z-axis, letting go, typing two feet, and times 90. And that makes 90 copies of that. All right. Um, I'm going to change my styles really quickly just to get rid of those really thick lines. Okay. So you can see all of those. Now the next thing I want to do is the same thing for that top one. So I'm selecting it and copying it up two feet and we'll just do times 50. And that has encompassed the entire terrain in these. And the next thing I want to do is select them, crossing selection, right click, intersect faces with model. It does it, and then I just want to delete them. So delete, delete. And if we turn off the Google terrain, you'll see that we have now create a series of topography lines. I'm just going to go in and create any doesn't seem like, seems like that's the only one it created any planes that it created. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to export only this. So I'm going to go ahead and make layer 0 current and I'm going to turn off topo and turn on Google Earth and Google Terrain and I just want to delete these. Now these are locked so you have to unlock them. Right click, unlock, delete, select, right click, unlock, delete. And then I'm going to turn on my outline and my Google Terrain and I'm just going to select 
this plane and delete that because I don't really need it. Okay, and I'm going to go to File, Export, 3D Model. It's going to want to do a drawing file. Go to C, go to the folder that I want to save this in. And we'll save it as lines. Export. Yes, go ahead and overwrite. So it'll overwrite that. Now the next thing I want to do is Control Z back to where I have my Google terrain and things back. And I want to just export this Google terrain, the Earth terrain. So if I turn everything back on, turn off the Google Earth terrain, I'm just going to delete all that stuff. Make sure I get all of it. Turn on the Google Earth Terrain, File, Export, 3D Model. Do that as Surface, Export, yes, overwrite it, and it'll export that. Now the last thing I want to do, I'm going to Control Z all the way back to where I have my snapshot. Get rid of the terrain. And I want to just save this image out. So I'm going to go to my materials here and under the select tab I'm going to go to the eyedropper and eyedropper that image. And then if I go to edit you're going to notice down here there's a save to external editor. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open it, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, open an external editor. So it's going to open it in Photoshop in my case. And then I'm going to go to file and once you have it here, you can just, you know, or whatever program, you just go File, Save As, and, and save it out as a JPEG to a separate file location for use later. All right, so that's it for this installment. We'll look at how we can use this information in the next couple of videos.